afternoon grizzlies today is april 25th 2003 and here are your host brandon and josiah good morning can ask and going goes my name is brandon welcome back to gunderson live wubba lubba dub dub i'm josiah let's get to the show yo so brandon are you going to prom uh no actually i'm gonna be playing with magnets and lasers oh well you're missing out get strapped up grizzlies it's prom week and it's getting hot out there if you weren't aware, we are in the middle of a class war week with the activities every lunch between the different grade levels. Today at lunch will be the cup relay, so you don't want to miss out on the fun. So be in the forum at lunch. Tomorrow we will have a donut relay, and Thursday will be a game of musical chairs. Hopefully a non-violent game of musical chairs. And Friday, of course, is prom day. See you there. If you're, go if you're going, you can also vote for the prom king and queen. The prom royalty finalists are in. For junior court, Anae Cheval, Hule Kamara, Alex Mirza, and Mia Marquez. For senior court, David Tensipa, April Sayan, Sarah Safuentes, and Yazel Ramirez. And finally, for senior royalty, James Ramirez, Kiana Yokota, Jackie Garcia, and Melanie Garcia. Final voting will take place at prom, with the winners announced at 9 p.m. on prom night. Yo, shout out to David Tensipa. Just a quick warning, there have been sightings of goblins and gremlins on campus. So bring out your pitchforks. For real. Goblins love grabbing that money and pocketing it for themselves. And speaking of Gunderson currency, in two days, the Grizzly Pride pop-up shop is coming back. This Thursday, April 27th at lunch by room N4. Redeem your pot tickets for all the stickers, school supplies, ramen, sodas, and more. So be on your best behavior because only pot tickets are accepted. Again, the Pride pop-up shop will be back Thursday at lunch by room N4. See you there. Ain't no goblins gonna be taking my pal dollars. Nuh-uh. Also, this Thursday during GLC, you'll be able to vote for your student council members for the next year. Every class will be able to vote for students that are running. So, be sure to be in your GLC on time. If you want to participate in the voting again, the voting will happen this Thursday in GLC. Shadow Money Wizard Gang. We love casting spells. Indeed. Head sideways, seniors. If you intend to enroll or have applied to San Jose City College, De Anza College, or Foothill College, or Olone College, you are invited to enroll for the Transfer Alliance Project, otherwise known as TAP. TAP is a summer program at UC Berkeley that assists students with planning a transfer pathway to any University of California State School from any of the previously mentioned community colleges. If you're interested, make sure to apply by April 30th by going to the link below or see Mick Chenier in Library Room D for further information. Hey yo, Joe, we got this show, for show. For showly indeed, yo yo. Speaking of shows, someone with my name who looks just like me was in a game show, and your evil twin, not an arm, if was you've been asking questions. If you've been keeping up with Gunderson Live, you might remember that we've been doing a game show series. Today, we have the final game show in which both victors compete. Let's go see the results. Welcome back, Grizzlies, to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, the finale. Here are your hosts, me, Troy, and Brandon, and our contestants, Josiah, Jarrett's cousin, aka Joe. Today we will see which of the two winning contestants is the true fifth grade champion. Are our contestants ready? Indeed. Possibly. Alright, let's get on to the first question. And if you don't remember, here are the rules. I will say out the question, and then one of the contestants will slap the desk. Whoever slaps the desk first will get the point if they answer the question correctly. Let's go. If you cut a quarter into thirds, how many pieces would you have? Three. Yes! Out of the fractions below, which is the greatest? Three over twenty, three over nine, or three over five? Three over five. Yes! Can you pick the antonym of the word tame? Wild. Yes. Which farm animal completes the sentence below? A father blank is called a boar. Pig? Yes! Who invented the light bulb? Albert Einstein. <laughs> Thomas Edison. <laughs> Correct. Thomas Edison. <laughs> Ron saves $32 every day. How much will he save in a year of 365 days? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? I am very serious. Ron. <laughs> a 
11,680. <laughs> Correct. Let's go. How many grams are in 1,000 kilograms? A million. Correct. How many times can six be subtracted from 48? Eight. Correct. If a train leaves the station and travels at 60 miles per hour, how much time will have passed when it arrives at a station 300 miles away? Five hours. Correct. No, no, no. And the winner of the finale of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader is, drum roll please, Jared's cousin! Whoa! I won, because I'm the best. Alright, very egotistical. Let go of my arm. <laughs> egotistical right there. Alright. Thank you guys for tuning in to see the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader conclusion. Now, back to the... Wait a minute. Where's Brandon? I haven't seen him in a while. What? Uh -oh. Back to the studio. Well, I'm back. Hey, he's been the gobbledygook. I messed with that. <laughs> Last Thursday, Gunderson hosted the first of a three-part series of presentations called The Power of Motivational Parenting and Student Successes. These, stock, these talks feature Dr. Victor Rios, who has spent the past two decades researching and working with marginalized students, educators, and families. The second presentation will be held on Thursday, May 4th, in the Gunderson High School Theater at 6 p.m. Dr. Rios will be joined by Dr. Hugo Moreno and Dr. Mario Galicia as they discuss parent leadership, college readiness, and educational success. If interested, please register at the link below. Spanish interpretation will be provided. Again, this talk will be held at Gunderson High School Theater at 6 p.m. on May 4th. Stay tuned to Gunderson Live for more information regarding the final presentation. Hey, have you seen this aardvark lotion? Yeah, back in the desert <laughs> licking those rocks. The Gunderson Sports schedule is based heavy for the next couple of days. Tuesday, April 25th. Softball versus Independence at 4 p.m. In a league championship game where the winner will take home first place. Boys volleyball at Overfell at 7 p.m. Golf versus Oak Grove at 4.30 p.m. Wednesday, April 26th. Varsity baseball will be taking on Silver Creek at 4 p.m. at home. JV baseball will be at Silver Creek at 4 p.m. Badminton will be against Oak Grove at 6 p.m. And golf will be facing Del Mar at 5 p.m. Track and field will be at B-Ball Division Finals. For the love of Henry T. Gunderson, that's it for today's show. Don't forget to subscribe to our Gunderson Live YouTube page and hit that like button and dat that little bell. <laughs> and follow our Instagram at Gunderson underscore live. All right, you silly gillies. Have a nice day, Grizzlies. All we right, will all see right. you next time. All right, all right, all right.